What is up dudes? Welcome back for another quick little channel CG video. Today I'm here with this 2009 Dodge Grand Caravan which I did not expect I'd be making a video on anything like this. This is my brother and sister's new van. They're a family, they have two kids. I understand vans although I was never a fan of them myself. Unfortunately their other van was recently in a wreck. It got run into when it was parked on the side of the road and it basically is totaled. So they ended up picking this thing up for a good price. But I wanted to surprise them and hit it with a little bit of flitz and get it protected because I know it probably won't be washed all the time and taken super good care of like that. So I'm gonna make sure today that it stays nice and protected with this good stuff. I'm a huge fan of Flitz's product and the channel is also sponsored by Flitz. So if any of you guys are interested in the products in this video, I have a special link for you down in the description. If you use that and go check out their products, get you some awesome stuff. It helps out the channel. And if you use the code channel CGE when you go to check out, it saves yourself an insane 20% off all the stuff you're gonna see in this video. This stuff is super high quality and what I love about it is it's versatility. You can use it on everything. You can use this sealant on the paint of your car. But there's also a huge list of different surfaces you can use it on like fiberglass, all metals and plastics and glass, marble, granite quartz. You could use it on your countertop or your sink. I've seen people actually coat their sinks with this stuff. It's actually pretty cool. You can use this stuff on anything. It lasts up to a year if you take good care of it and apply it right. I've already used this on our PT touring in a video before and I was super, super impressed with the way it turned out. You guys can see I'll overlay some clips right now. That car looks amazing with this stuff applied on it. This stuff is awesome. I highly recommend it to anybody. And this, just like their polishes, is super versatile and you can use it on anything. Their paste and liquid polish works really good on like fading clear coat. If you hit any fade just a little bit with some of their polish, not even the paste polish, you can use the liquid. It will completely eliminate it like with no effort. It's actually kind of crazy. It also helps with some of those swirl marks. If you continue to work on it and work it into the paint and keep kind of buffing at it, it'll really diminish and even get rid of some of those nasty swirl marks and some some of those clear coat scratches that are a little deeper. I know your average person at home just trying to make their car look a little nicer and better protected. You know, not everybody has a ton of detailing knowledge and a ton of equipment to do it. So this stuff works really well. It's really easy. And there's no risk of taking too much clear coat off or just messing everything up. Polish is actually non-abrasive, which is even more crazy. But anyways, that being said, I'm about to coat this car really quick. I already used the clay bar in some of the bad spots and I used a tiny bit of flitz in a few spots too, like the front bumper. And also right here, there were some nasty fade marks that I got rid of. I'd love to completely clay bar this car and go over the whole thing with some flits, like some liquid polish and maybe some paste polish in a couple of heavier spots. But I'm kind of limited on time. I want to get this car done and get it ready for him as sort of a surprise. So we're going to call this good enough. It's not going to look perfect, but at least it's going to be a little better protected. So here we go. I'm just going to shake it up and spray a little bit on here. Just spray a little bit on the applicator too to get it primed. I'm just going to go ahead and rub a little bit into the paint, kind of go around in a circle like this. You can put this on the glass as well and everything. I'm just gonna go ahead and buff it off real quick. All right, and that's already done. I guess well, I just pulled the car outside because now I can actually see what I'm doing. The weather was a little bit of a concern earlier, but it's finally clearing up. I already finished coating the car really quick, which took me like 15 minutes. It's that easy. I did a really quick job and I just kind of went around and did everything and then kind of wiped it all down. Nothing too crazy. I was kind of on a time crunch, cleaned up a few bad spots, but I mean, you guys can see that turned out looking pretty dang good. I must admit the interior of this car is pretty dang nice. This is just an SE model too. Other than the fact that it smells kind of weird, it <laughs> it's pretty nice in here. Really weird seating position though. I can't say that I'm a fan of it, but it's not bad. Needs an exhaust. You're all flitzed. It looks awesome. Does it look good? You guys wanna be on you wanna be on too? Say what's up. Uh I'm wearing this suit because there's a bunch of bees here. Yeah, he's afraid of the bees. That's why he's wearing a... Is, is that no, he said that he saw a bug that, that was half wasp, half spider. Half wasp, I, half spider. Yeah. That's an interesting cross. That is scary. Got all your Hot Wheels cars, too. I can't too. blame him. Yeah. And that brings back memories. I'll show you my favorite Hot Wheels car. Show me your favorite, man. The real name's actually an RD09. That's very cool, dude. They're my two favorites. It's those are your two favorites? I got my van. Nice I actually like the color of this van a lot. It's, it's clean. Yeah, it's it's Perfect. it's gonna keep it protected a lot better, especially for winter. It actually has windows that roll down. That's pretty. How do you take the lock? Oh. Nice. I hate yeah. how the windows never roll down in the other vans. It's kind of an engineering yeah. flaw. Now the question is, will it do a burnout? I have no idea. 
That's what you need to find out. I don't know how to do a burnout. Just floor it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's something. I know it does. And that's because, you, you want to tell them why? It's because of flits. That's right, and you guys can save 20% off if you use Channel CG at the checkout. And also, that link in the description if you use it helps me out too. Helps me make better videos, so go do that. Go get yourself some flits. Flits. <laughs> actually a lot of fun to detail that van it's kind of a boring car to work on but it was still a lot of fun and something different to pull into the shop and have some fun with today kids were excited to see the van all shiny glad to see it'll be protected a little better and easier to keep clean now for the rest of the year I'll show you guys some pictures of the old van but basically like i said before bry's van was sitting on the street and it got rear-ended for the most part totaled the car it could have been repaired but it would have cost so much to repair that it was totally not worth it i'm sitting in a traffic light and people are looking at me like why the heck am i talking to myself Ah, YouTuber struggles. I stopped at AutoZone yesterday and ordered a part for the Eldorado and they said it was supposed to be in this morning and they haven't called me so I might stop in and check but that happened one other time at our local AutoZone. They didn't get the part when I ordered it there. They said it would be there like the next day, you know, but it never showed up so I don't know. I think this guy wants to race. Oh, green light. But anyways guys, I guess the rest of today I'm going to be editing some videos and running some errands. I will be coming out with another video in the next couple days on something. I'm not exactly sure what video will be on next, but there will be one in the next couple days, I promise you that. So be sure to stay tuned. I'm sure this video is going to be a bit on the short side, but I want to throw something together anyways. It's kind of fun having the family in a video every once in a while. But I hope you guys enjoyed anyways. Be sure and hit the thumbs up button if you did. And if you'd like to see some more short, just random videos on the channel sometimes. But again guys, thanks so much for watching this quick little channel CG video. You guys rock. God God bless and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.